So today we are recreating Rob the Bank's Instagram editing style and hands down, this has been the most unique style that I have seen in the entrepreneur scene, let alone the short form content scene. I personally feel like this editing style is modern, clean. It's kind of got like that, uh, that in your face sort of aesthetic, kind of like how Rob the Bank's actual personal brand is. So this editing style with his personal brand just meshes really, really well together. But real quick, before we go ahead and get started, my name is Chris Wiestead and I run the takeover shop where so editing assets and presets for content creators just like you. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started in this video editing breakdown. So now that we are inside of Premiere Pro, I wanna show you guys the edit that I am gonna be recreating with you guys. So that way you guys can see what we're learning today. So it's just a very simple sort of like hook, but using all of these sort of effects, you can go ahead and create like an entire length reel and make it look good, make it look like Rob the Bank's sort of editing style. Now, I don't know exactly who edits his content. Honestly, would love to find out, but for now, I'm just calling it to rob the bank style so anyways let's go ahead and get started with the first sort of section so it says woke up on a tuesday we're gonna go ahead and recreate this edit just like so so we're gonna go ahead and use the type tool just woke up i'm gonna go ahead and center this center center and then i'm gonna use the helvetica font this is the font that you guys can go ahead and honestly just swap out with whatever you have because it's not too too serious i'm gonna go ahead and change the spacing make it a little bit tighter to just make it look a lot cleaner that looks good to me make sure it's just centered and all that stuff awesome so then i'm gonna do on a so it says whoa okay on a and then we're gonna do on a make sure that this is centered properly fire and then we're gonna do tuesday and now we're gonna go ahead and reset the spacing back to zero i'm gonna go to the font and the font that he uses for this is called dharma i'm gonna go extra bold or we don't want this one we want to space it up now let's see i don't want condensed um let's see what, what's what's e let's see what e is there we go yeah we want the one that says e that looks a lot better. It's not as condensed as the other one. We're going to go ahead and just keep it center, 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 just like so. And then we're going to go ahead to the fill, make it a yellow sort of text. And uh, that intro is done. So this is sort of the intro part right here. And to spice things up, let's go ahead and add a glow to the yellow text and also the white text. So let's actually go ahead and just duplicate all of these by selecting, holding alt and then dragging up and then letting go with your mouse going over here to blur and then we're going to look for Gaussian blur. So I'm going to turn this all the way up to about, uh, let's say about right here. And then we're going to go down to the opacity. I'm going to turn this down just like so. So about 19%, I'm going to select opacity and then I'm also going to select Gaussian blur. Then I'm going to select these other two and just copy paste. So that way the white is glowing as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete the Gaussian blur. There we go. Fire. Okay, so that is the intro sort of scene right there. Now let's go ahead and move on to the second part, which is this scene right here. So we're gonna go ahead and recreate this part. Now, first things first, you wanna go ahead and just uh, import your B-roll. So my B-roll is right here. I'm gonna drag and drop it just like so onto the bottom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, scale it up just like so something like that. And we are adding an overlay, which is why I'm not doing a full screen. So drag and drop this overlay as well onto the screen and we're gonna go ahead and make it last up until this little point just like so now let's play through now you guys can go ahead and color grade this footage right now which that's exactly what i'm gonna go ahead and do i want it to be a little bit darker but let's go ahead and just go to the takeover pack for now and just drag and drop the lut on there and then let's just go to a metric color turn the exposure down a little bit maybe bring the highlights down just like that and then bring the shadows just so that way just a, just a chill little look fire so he says and decided on buying a cyber truck right so a lot of this is really just uh topography but it's, it's cool so we're gonna go ahead and move this up because it is an overlay and we want the text to be inside the overlay let's go ahead and go to text and then we're gonna do decided and then we're gonna select it all go to the graphics um it didn't reset which is fine we're gonna center it center it center it it's like so select it all and then we're gonna go to the font kept blur whatever std uh, semi bold caption make this smaller fill it with just white because we just want it to be white and then also we want to make these closer together like that and then just do a faux italicize and let me see if any of these look better okay so semi bold condensed looks way better in my opinion i'm gonna add another space just to make it look like it is an actual space drag and drop this down below so that way it's under the overlay and then before 
I actually go ahead and like rearrange things. I like to just make it look good before like moving it exactly where I want to be. So I'm going to get all of the words on screen. And so I decided to buy, actually wait, oh, what did, what? And, and decided, okay. I'm decided, so and decided, I'm space buying a, there you go, decided. Then I'm buying a, so now let's go ahead and rearrange this real quick. Make it look good. Maybe do something like this. We'll readjust that later. Then also let's go ahead and just add another type tool or another text. And then we're gonna type in cyber truck, copy it just like that. And then we're gonna go back to the old font, which is uh, Dharma or Dharma. Gonna go to the E, then we're gonna go to E, and then we're gonna go ahead, drag this up and then turn the spacing back to zero. So that way it's normal. Go to fill, make it yellow again, just like so. And then we're gonna center it, center it, center it. And then we're just gonna make this a little bit bigger, just like that. Maybe center it again, just like so. And then we'll go ahead, readjust the positioning for this text over here. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and make this smaller. Cause when it's smaller, it looks a lot cleaner. I'm gonna do something like this and then go ahead, select this, move this just like so. Decided I'm buying a Cybertruck. So now let's go ahead and just adjust the timing for all of this text. Ah, oh, why is it like this? Gosh dang it. Okay, I decided. And then Cybertruck right here. Just like this. Fire. Now this sort of text is kind of hard to see because the, the background. So we're going to go ahead and just make this a little bit bigger, just like so. That's pretty far. Now let's go ahead and just add some glows to all of the text below. So we're going to just move this overlay up like that. We're going to duplicate the cyber truck because honestly, let's just actually go ahead and only have the cyber truck glow. So I'm going to go to my takeover pack. Otherwise you guys can just do the same process that I showed you before, but I'm just going to go ahead, drag and drop this preset onto our text, glowing text, drag and drop. Easy as that it's glowing. Um, well, honestly, cause it is so easy. Let's just go ahead and do this for the other layers as well. Glowing white text, drag and drop just like so easy peasy. That's sick. Now the last part is honestly just adding captions just like so, which if you want to learn how to do that, just go ahead and watch this video in the top right corner where I actually go ahead and break down the entire process of doing so. But for now, I'm just going to copy and paste this and just drag this to the end of the video. Fire. But real quick, as you guys can see, this looks a little bit different than this. And the biggest difference with this is just like the scale of the text and also the basic 3D like perspective of the text. So let me show you how to actually create this entire sort of effect rather than looking like this, make it look a little bit more unique like that. You want to go ahead and grab all of your text, right click nest, and I'm just going to name this text. And then you're going to want to go to scale, uniform scale, check this box and then scale height, make it a little bit higher. Honestly, just going to do it like so. And then we are going to go over here, go to basic 3D, drag and drop this. And then we want to go to swivel or tilt, sorry. When we go to tilt, we want to tilt it uh, positive about, let's say like 40 degrees. And then let's go ahead and back to the stretch, maybe stretch it out a bit more, just like so, and then maybe do it like that. And that's the overall effect. That makes it look so much cleaner, makes it look a lot more similar to this. Like I said, we could go ahead and just make this smaller, make this smaller as well. Then we could just drag this overlay down below to tidy up the timeline. So that's pretty sick. Now what you can go ahead and do is you guys can just go ahead, populate it with the sound effects, like the uh, typewriter sound effects for each word that pops up. Um, that's what I did in this edit. I'm not gonna do it in this one because you guys should know how to add sound effects. If not, then I uh, might have to add a tutorial to do that. But so far, so good. One thing that you could also do in the intro is just another thing that I wanna show you guys because it is another sort of effect that he does is let's go to this Tuesday text. Let's go ahead and change the font to the Kepler sort of text and we'll do we'll do semi bold condensed. We'll make this one white and then we are going to do the same stretch sort of effect. And the way you do that uniform scale, just bring that up like so. And then that looks pretty freaking good. I'm going to go ahead, go to opacity blend mode and make it uh, make it difference. So that way it kind of interacts with the background. It's just a unique look. And again, add a sound effects when this pops up. 
so that way it looks good another thing that you can go ahead and do is you can just go ahead and add another glow i'm honestly not going to do that because it kind of just doesn't really make sense but anyways guys that is the entire video if you guys learned something please leave a like comment subscribe this video is honestly probably going to be one of my favorites but that being said thank you so much for watching the video remember take action take over i'll see you guys in the next one peace